go lads, it's Carnival Bites with Marie in the house for the Q&A. Oh my god, the performance <laughs> we've had trying to set this camera up. God, I'll tell you. We ought to have had, right, another camera <laughs> filming who's trying to set this camera. Yeah. God, yeah, we, God. Well, right, now. I've got the glasses ready. Okay, so, okay. I haven't got the questions ready. No, well, you get the questions now. ready, babe, and off we go. Right, so we have five questions, as every week. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. And the first question is... Go on. What are the fat-soluble vitamins? The fat-soluble vitamins. Yes. Now, what we did during the week, actually, because we knew we were going to be posting this we question, <laughs> is that we made one we of these cheated. fantastic sheets that has all the vitamins, water-soluble, fat-solubles, on, on the side. Yeah. So we actually had these already set up, but there are a few things that you have to really understand about fat solubles. It's not the fact that they actually use the fats in your body to actually get into their place, but the fact that if you're not careful and you use too many fat soluble vitamins that they become toxic within the body. Nice. So you have to be careful that the limits that you put on them right, are not excessive. So. Most bodybuilders you'll find, right, whether it's steroids or whether it's whatever, when it comes to actually passing tablets through the face, <laughs> they always like to double everything up because it's just the way it is. <laughs> so be careful that you're not doubling something up that's uh, likely to be toxic to you. So anyway, what are the fat solubles? As in the vits, right, well, so we have A, E, D and K. And vitamin A is good for your teeth, bones, soft tissue, white blood cells, the immune set system, and mucous membranes, and is a very good antioxidant. E is for the anti-aging process, right? <laughs> it prevents coronary artery disease, disease, God, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? Supports, supports the immune function. <laughs> Prevents inflammation, which on my diets are yeah. good enough because, like, you've got keto and you've got carnivore, but I mean, you know, you could still use that within it. Yeah. Promotes eye health, and again, in my case, it helps to prevent or is helpful when you have cancer. Okay, so if you have cancer and you take vitamin E, it'll help. It's supposed to be one of those helpful vitamins. Right. Is it going to stop you from dying from cancer? Then. It's not going to stop you from getting it either no, because no, that's just the no, work of the draw. That's how it is. Now, D is for your bones, teeth. Again, it's used for cancer patients and also for type 1 diabetics. Ooh. Now, you're going to say, why how does that work? Yeah. I don't really know. No. I'd have to go and find some info yeah, on that. Would that. Be an interesting and one. also, those that are suffering from multiple cirrhosis tend to use a lot of D as well. But, lads, be aware that it's vitamin D. And it's not D2 or D3, it's vitamin D. And then there's vitamin K, which is for the bones, the wound. I was looking at wounds. Wound healing. Yes. Right? And it's great for making protein within your body for your bones and the normal blood coagulation. There's a big word. Well, you could put cloth... You couldn't get bones, but you got coagulation. <laughs> the thing is, you could go for clotting or coagulation. But there is a difference. But the difference, you see, clotting is literal, the clotting of the blood, and the coagulation is just for the thickening of the blood. Right. Right? Yep. Right. Okay, so question number two. Thank God, because that was a big number one, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my, my mind again. Sorry, my mind's working over time. Okay, so how many times a week should you do cardio? I think this is all down to the individual. I've known some fellas that never do cardio at all, ever, right? And it, and it really is all down to like um, whether you're going ready for a show, whether you feel you need to go do cardio. If whenever you look in the mirror, you or your coach or whatever is happy enough with your progress and they feel that you don't need to do it, you know, or whether you use cardio basically to keep fit. 
Now me, I tend to use cardio for keep fit. I just love it. I mean, go out, do a 10k run. I just, I love that sort of thing. Yeah. You know, I do that. I mean, it's like, I do 5k every night. Yeah. But I like to once a week put a 10k run in. And yet I'm not a runner. I just no. like to do it. Hmm. I do. So, do I have an hard and fast rule that how many days a week lads should do keep not oh, do keto do cardio no i don't i think it's purely down to the the you know individual. individual and whatever they're happy and doing what they're doing right okay so whatever suits you do. so i'm sorry that that wasn't really well, it's probably not the answer some folks was looking for. No, right? but I mean, if you want to do cardio and you want to do it seven days a week, then grand. And if you don't and you only want to do it one day a week, then that's grand. It's about the detriment to your body. Yeah. I mean, if you do it seven times a week because you're doing it once a day and you basically are falling to bits and you're turning skinny fat, then it's obvious that you didn't ought to be doing it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, there you go. Listen to your body. Yes. Right, number three. How many times a week should you do abs? Right, so abs and core or whatever. Yeah. And you know, so this this one's nearly as similar to the last one. Right. But again, if you do abs every day, are your abs going to be visible? And the answer to that question is no, unless you're in a calorie deficit. Okay. You know, so unless... So you're not going to go and do your abs and get a six pack overnight? It's not going to work. Right, you have to be in a calorie deficit. You have to lose the fat off your body, right, and lose the water off your body before you're able to see your abs. And I know some guys, by the way, who go on some serious diets, yeah, yeah and try and get ready for a show and lose that water and lose that fat and still can't get their abs because they've got so much subcut, you know, what's that word? Subcutaneous. Thank you. Water that hangs underneath the skin and blocks and blurs out the abs. They can't do anything about it. Oh, nice. So there you go. There you go. Well, number four. How many calories should I eat on carnivore? Now that's a very good question because I go back on full 100% carnivore next week. And a lot of lads will turn around and say, well John, how many calories are you going to eat? I'm going to try not to count. Right, so just eat. Yeah, yeah, because I'm on OMAD. Yes. Right, yeah. so I'll get up in the morning and I'll just drink water. Right. And I've got like my vitamin C tablets and uh, as in my effervescent ones. And I've got my uh, electrolyte tabs which are effervescent as well. And because I have three of each, I'm going to have six pints of water using those tablets in the day. Right. Right? Yeah. Now I may drink all the water, but that's what I'm going to drink there. But to answer the question about the food, my OMAD meal is probably not going to be until around about four or five o'clock at night. I'm going to eat as much meat as I can get into me, which forces a state of society, or satiety. And as soon as I get to that state where I've reached satiety, that's it. I don't need to so go anymore. So if that's 1,000 calories or 10,000 calories... Is In my your... case, right, it's normally two to three pounds of meat. Which is a fair amount of cows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's what it normally is. Yeah. And because I eat beef and mince or something like that, and the and the macros are normally around about the same, it works out around about 200 grams of fat, 200 grams of protein, which is a fair amount. Yeah. 200 yeah. grams of protein is 800 calories. 200 grams of fat is 1,800 calories. So you've got 2,600 calories. But I reach the tidy with that. Right. I do. Yeah. But then again, one day, some days are different than others, and some yeah, other days I'm just... How, how hungry you are. Do you know, I, I took that run the other night. Yeah. When I come back home, I was famished. And yet I was nearly at the point where I'm, I'm ready for this, uh, like, you know, tinkering with carnivore. I'm on that awful state where I've reached my calorie table. tape. I couldn't take any more. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. I'm on a deficit. And it yeah. was like, Jesus, lads, I went to bed last night hungry. Now, I shouldn't have done that, right? And I don't, for one minute, suggest you should do it. But because I'm on another light stage of dieting in a moment for the lads, I'm, you know, you so I, I'm so glad. I've got Tuesday to come up. 
and then I'm he, back on full He's carnival. literally counting the minutes to Tuesday. Just so, I tell you what lads, I'm going to say something now. If I had the choice between keto and carnivore, I'd take carnivore any day. Right. We, well, we, uh, even a shred. Right. Like, absolutely. Because when you're on keto, you're eating so many other things, like eggs and cheese and yeah, whatever, right? Of... You, you just don't get that calorie dense food into you. Right, so whereas with carnivore you're eating meat which is meat. calorie dense. Bang! Therefore you're... So many fats in it. Yeah. Yeah, the protein is so good for rich. satiety. It's rich. Oh. And I can't wait to get back on it. Anyway, I, I digress. We kind of moved away from the we question. Did, we did, But as in, again, how many calories? Yeah. As many as you can eat until you reach satiety. Do not overfeed because all you're going to do is hurt your stomach just like and anybody else. Those of you out there who do not know what satiety is, it's when you're full. Well it <laughs> is, or but it's satisfied. But, but, but satisfiedly yeah. full. Yeah, yeah. Not, not full to bursting. Here but you when got, your body says I've had great. enough. Now you've got it. You've got bursting and then you've got satiety. Right? Yeah. So it's no good thinking, right? Oh, I need to eat four pounds of meat. Bang, 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 when I'm done, I've got a gut like this and I feel like I want to puke up. Yeah. No. So just because you have a plate piled doesn't mean you have to finish what's on the plate. Just when your body says, enough, enough that's then it. that's it. Don't that's go any further. So that's a good tip and Marie kind of explained it for you. Go me. Go with you. Now, <laughs> next question. Okay, next question is question number five, you'll be glad to know. And it is keto coffee. Yes or no? Right, if you're on keto, I would say the keto coffee is nearly mandatory. Right. Nearly. Nearly. Yeah, not everybody uses it, but you know something? I know folks that are on keto that have two. One in the morning before training maybe, or just after, and one later on for, let's say, lunchtime. Especially if they're on OMAD and they're eating later on for the real food, they'll use a keto coffee just to go in like... You know, settle the pangs up until. Just keep you, keep you going. Doesn't work for me, lads. Maria will tell you. God. I can have two coffees. And, and lunchtime, I'm still, I'm famished. You know, I just have to eat. You know, I've got to have some food. It's yeah. as simple as that. Like I say, roll on Tuesday. But, should you have a keto coffee when you are on carnivore? Lads, I have to say no. But does that mean you can't have coffee? You can have normal coffee. I think if you want to put some stevia in a normal black coffee, or even if you just want to drop a little bit of cream in it, if mm. you're into that, brilliant. But I'm on 100% carnivore next week, so basically I'm watering me. And I will go into that because I'm not 100% satisfied with the tinkering with carnivore cup. Right. I'm happy enough. Because we've, we've got some progress, but I feel that it slightly failed, as which I'll allude to when I get to my, yeah, my video. Yeah. I think there's been a little bit of a failure where we could have done a little bit better, mm. but we'll, deal, we'll, with that on we'll deal with that on Tuesday when we do the picks, which is what we're going to do. Yay. We're going to do the final the picks. Final pick reveal. But what we're going to do is we've got the before pick. We have. We've got that after pick, yeah. but we're going to use that pick yeah. for a, a before the four week carnival cut pick. So the, the, we'll have three picks basically. We'll, but we that's a, a before keto, yes. after keto, yes. which will be used for before carnivore and then we'll have an after carnivore. Yeah, that's how it's going to work. Okay. A, a little complicated. <laughs> But, I'll get there in but the we like to mess around, and I like to mess around with the diet a little bit, so why not? Really, I think that's as full five for the week. It certainly is. Well, that was full pack, lads, wasn't it? <laughs> a, a mouthful of gobbly gooks all over the place. Don't forget, lads, to subscribe. Subscribe on YouTube, Carnivore Bites, and thumbs up, likes, and whatever else. Like still on the likes, it makes things nicer to actually see. 
don't be afraid to comment. You know, if you like what's being said, great. And if you don't, so what? Say so too. We don't give a shit if we don't get good likes. We don't get the likes, we get the thumbs down, or we get a Whatever. few. Whatever. Because then we know what we can do to go and alter it. Yeah, and if you give us feedback, then we know what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. Absolutely. So, until next week, we'll all say goodbye. Bye. Switch that off, Marie. Will do. I'll see you next week, lads. Say goodbye, Marie. Goodbye, Marie.